Good morning, everybody. I certainly hope you're having a wonderful day. We are going to go over the Nubian 3 Coral Julia's Place palette. I've already done a coral look here for you with this palette. Today, I'm going to try these darker colors up on top. I've never done very dark colors on my eyes, so I'm going to give it a whirl today and see how it looks. All right, so basically I'm gonna be using all these colors up here and maybe one of these dark ones here. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is get my e.l.f. putty primer for the eyes. And we're going to put this on. I like it. It works really, really well. Okay, so I'm just going to let that sit for a second and try to figure out what color I want to start with. Let's see. Ooh, that's a silvery color. That's another silvery color. This is more like a blue, a bluish gray. I think I'm going to start with that, the bluish gray one. All right, so let's give this a try. My first venture into dark colors on my eyes. As you know, I love color. I really don't own very many clothes that are dark. Everything in my wardrobe is pretty bright. So let's start with this. And I still have a lot of glitter on from when I was working with the Jeffree Star Morphe palette. That stuff gets everywhere. I should have known better. All right. Like I said, this is like a blue gray. Which is supposed to be, I believe, like in contrast to the coral, I think. Yeah, because coral and gray looks good together, coral and blue. So. Okay, I didn't put a whole lot on my lid now, did I? A very nice soft color. It is so pretty and so soft. All right, so that is the gray blue color from this palette. Hmm. I guess for the outer corner, I'm going to have to use this um, color right next to it because it is darker. Juvia's Place has the most softest formula I've ever tried. Yeah, the colors aren't much different. Actually, I thought they would be a little different because this one's a lot darker. But not really.
I'm really not into grays and such, but I just, I wanted to give this a shot. And, and that the lip color looks more blue on the eyes than it does in the pan, but I think it's kind of pretty. Now we're going to blend that out a little bit. Yeah, I don't think I look that great in dark colors. It's much darker in person than on the camera that you're seeing. But I've gone out of my comfort zone, so um, there I go. I'm getting a little bit more bold here with colors. Now there's a beautiful, beautiful shimmer which is gorgeous. Wow. That's really pretty. That adds a little bit of shine to it and it's not quite as dark. But there is my attempt at darker eyeshadow. I think I have done it once before with my um, Makeup Revolution palette because that one has a lot of grays and blacks in it. Not sure where it went. Well, anyway, I do have a Morphe palette that I used. <laughs> it's hidden somewhere down here. I thought I had it right here. But that's okay. Anyway, that's okay. But there is a dark color for me from the Juvia's Place Coral palette. And I used these three. Now, they look blue on the computer, but in person, they're not. This is like a very dark gray. This is a darker gray, and that's silver. So, yeah, the computer is not showing the true colors in the palette. Because they look very blue, don't they? Yeah, they do. And they do, they do look kind of pretty on my eyes. So um, there is that. And I'm sure you've seen my other videos where I've done the coral color, the coral look with this palette. Very pretty. And then, let's see. This is an interesting color right there. Let's see what that looks like. Kind of like a tan color. Ooh, that kind of looks nice. I don't like that. It gives it a very soft look. All right, so this is a beautiful palette. I absolutely love it. It's awesome. Very awesome. And then there's some really deep chocolate browns in here as well. So um, hang on, and we're going to do the next row. All right, so I have taken off that eye makeup, and now put it on. I already put on my primer, and we're going to go into the second row right here. Of all these pretty browns. So I'm going to start out with the lightest color, which is this one right here. And we are going to start with that color.
Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, wow. It is so pigmented. I don't have to build this up at all. Beautiful. So pretty. It's like a soft, it reminds me of a soft velvet couch. It's that kind of color. It's just so beautiful. No, suede, suede. It reminds me of suede. That is a gorgeous color. Oh my. My, my, my. So the next color I'm going to use, I'm going to use this third one right here. And I'm going to put this in the corner. And in the crease. Oh my, I am so impressed with this palette. And I suppose, you know, you could use these browns along with the corals. They go so well. Beautiful palette. All right. Now I'm going to take my blender. And I am going to blend this in. Keep in mind when you hold the brush out here, it's a very light touch. If you hold it up closer, it's going to be a very harder touch, of, of course. But when you hold it like this, you really get the desired effect that you want when you're blending because it's soft. That is so pretty, really pretty. And then the last color that's in this middle aisle is very bronzy color, bronzy, and it's a shimmer. So ooh, look how pretty that is. Ooh. That is pretty. a little bit of fallout right here. I think I did that because it doesn't seem to be doing it on this side. This is one other reason why you should do your eye makeup first because you never know if it's going to mess up. So I've been using these e.l.f. makeup cloths all morning. I'm going to run out of them. But I like them. They're really good. I'm just going to have to get some more. I'm just going to go under my eye. I'm not having much success getting that off. I may not have tapped off my brush enough. But anyway, that is the second row in this beautiful 
Juvia's coral palette. So I highly recommend it. It is gorgeous. It's got its pretty corals on the bottom, the browns in the middle, and the silver grays on top. Just a beautiful palette. So, um, lovely, lovely, lovely. I hope you've enjoyed my video, and you all have a great rest of the day. Bye-bye.